If you're new around here, I'm Sabs, also known as Sustainable Sabs. I talk about all things zero waste living, low impact living, veganism, minimalism, all that good fun stuff. Today I wanted to share something a little bit more personal um, about my zero waste journey. Some of you guys have asked about how I got into living a zero waste lifestyle, how I found out about it, um, and what my journey was like. So it actually started four and a half years ago. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about my journey and I want to hear about yours as well. So after you finish watching, let me know in the comments how you found out about the low impact or zero waste lifestyle and what got you interested and how you got started. So yeah, without further ado, here is my zero waste story. All right, so let's rewind to the summer of 2015. I, it was the summer after my sophomore year of college. It was the first summer that like I ever spent on my own before. So over the summer, I was celebrating my one year vegetarian anniversary, which for that anniversary, I just for fun decided to try to go vegan for a week um, to see what it was like. I had heard lots of great benefits. I started watching some vegan YouTube channels and through the rabbit hole of YouTube and watching vegan documentaries, I learned a lot about the egg and the dairy industry. And so after a week of challenging myself, which like I said, it was a challenge. I said if I could do it for a week and I enjoyed it, I would keep, keep it up after if I didn't enjoy it if I found it was too difficult or too constraining then I would just go back to just being vegetarian and after the week it ended up being a lot easier than I had expected I wasn't like a pariah not being able to go out to eat with friends and I just really enjoyed how I was feeling eating a vegan diet so, so that was July of 2015 the next month my friend and I were planning on moving in with each other for the just for the fall semester after in the spring we were both planning on studying abroad so we had about four months living together and during that course of time she had presented to me this idea of living a zero waste lifestyle which to me it seemed like such a far off weird strange concept that like I couldn't even wrap my brain around it. She had sent me articles about zero waste living and just about how you can reduce your everyday waste um, by making a bunch of small changes that end up turning into big changes. So she presented to me this idea of living zero waste for a semester and while at first I was very skeptical, I was like, what are we gonna do about hair ties? What are we gonna do about tofu containers? What about like vegan ice cream? Eventually I agreed, I presented it uh, as a challenge to myself, kind of like how I did with the vegan thing. We started off the semester head on just to go into it. I made our own hair products, we cooked all of our own food, we had a bowl in the freezer where we would put all of our compost scraps and we would actually bring it to the student union on campus because there was a compost bin there. I don't know if we were technically allowed to bring it there, but we did it anyways. We also lived pretty close to a Whole Foods, so we had access to bulk ingredients. We would get things like oats for breakfast. Uh, we had a lot of banana smoothies. Um, and then for lunch, we would have sandwiches using package-free bread, or we would make some sort of grain as the base of our meals. And through that, we were able to reduce about 90% of our landfill waste, which was so cool. After the initial habit changes, it didn't really end up being as difficult as I had expected it to be. The shopping secondhand part, I will say, took me a little bit longer to adopt just because for my entire life, I was such a fashionista and I would spend all my money on new clothing. H&M used to be my favorite store and the idea of not being able to go into just any store I wanted to and buy whatever I wanted was a little bit overwhelming. So I kind of put that aspect of zero waste living on hold just so that I could get comfortable with um, all of the other new habits that I was adopting. And so that one came a little bit later on, although I did as much as possible try to shop secondhand. Another thing we did at the very beginning of the semester was start a blog. So on Instagram, we started a blog together called Ladies with Repurpose, um, which has since been retired. But we kind of used that as a way to hold ourselves accountable, to find other people within the zero waste community and to, you know, learn so much new stuff through that. And then we, 
I think both kind of decided that we wanted to continue on a low waste lifestyle. So um, the next semester I was studying abroad in Paris, so I didn't really have the opportunity to compost or buy all of my own groceries because I was living with my grandparents at the time. But I, as much as possible, tried to bring my own reusable bottle. I tried to um, reuse old notebooks and stuff for school. I tried to use public transportation as often as I possibly could. And um, obviously I ate a vegan diet as well, so that helped reduce my, um, my carbon footprint. So yeah, that was, I would say, spring of 2016. Uh, I decided that when I came back from my studying abroad, I would continue living a zero waste lifestyle because I just really appreciated the simplicity of it, the ease of it, um, and because I had adopted all the new habits, it wasn't this huge new endeavor for me. Okay, so fast forward to the fall of 2016, which was a year after I adopted a zero waste or low impact lifestyle. I was moving in with my boyfriend at the time and I actually decided to start my own blog uh, separate from the one we had started before to kind of just document my journey. I think I ended up going a little bit too hard that year that my boyfriend and I were living together because I wanted to be so perfect and I had just seen these ideals of what the perfect zero waste lifestyle looked like and anytime um, I brought home something in plastic or I went to get a coffee and somebody accidentally gave me um, a disposable coffee cup even if I asked for uh, something for here I would just get so upset I would have all this unnecessary anxiety from it after a while of that I told myself I needed to calm down a little bit and I gave myself a little bit more wiggle room and also just in learning more about living sustainably I learned that there's so much more to eco-friendly living than just trash waste there's carbon emissions there is um you know other stuff I should know this through my lifestyle changes, I realized that there are ways that I could be sustainable without just focusing on trash because really trash is just kind of the surface of the problem and while it's definitely beneficial to reduce your waste as much as possible, there are other ways that you can reduce waste that might even have a more positive impact than just reducing your trash waste. For example, if you go to the grocery store and you see that there's a bin of like food that is going a little bit off, that might be a little bit bruised, that's discounted, but it's in a plastic bag, it's much more sustainable for you to buy that stuff um, and use it up before it gets thrown out because there's so many resources that went into it. It's kind of such a shame that that should have to go and get thrown away. I think it's always better to prevent waste as much as possible, so I would totally be comfortable buying something that is on the discount, in the discount section that would otherwise get thrown away. That is, I feel like, the bulk of my story. After my senior year of school uh, in Boston, I decided to move to New York City, which was the first kind of like big foray into adulthood. For the most part, since moving to New York, it has been fairly easy to live a zero waste lifestyle. I go to the farmer's market very often. I buy a lot of things in bulk. Um, I shop secondhand. There's so many phenomenal thrift stores and vintage stores in New York City. So I'm never like missing out on cool clothing. Um, and I've just gotten to meet this amazing community of other people who care a lot about sustainability in New York. And not just the sustainability community, the vegan community, the plant community, some of the ethical fashion community. So it's it's been really wonderful getting to kind of find my place here in New York and meet all these cool people. Um, and for that, I am forever appreciative. Now I've been living in New York for two and a half years and I am just continuing to spread the message of sustainability and that's uh, my story. <laughs> so there you have it, my zero waste journey. If you guys have any other questions for me on how I've been living zero waste for the last four and a half years, uh, feel free to leave them, leave them in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.